A truck has crashed into a department store. Swedish radio is reporting that at least two people have been killed. Police have sealed off part of the city centre after the truck was driven into pedestrians through a pedestrianised area of the city. It's not clear as yet if the action was deliberate, but we are hearing reports from the ground that shots were fired. Witnesses at the scene say they saw what appeared to be bodies lying in the street covered by blankets. I'm also hearing from our security correspondent Frank Gardner that shots have been fired in another part of Stockholm from where the truck attack took place, so further away. So it is possible that there are two incidents ongoing at the moment in Stockholm. This is a picture of that central shopping district. You can see that there are now no cars, no people on the street. We've seen pictures on Twitter of armed police uh, circulating in the area and there is also a still footage on social media of this truck in the corner of the building. It's ploughed into an upmarket department store and looking at that picture, how far it's gone in, you would have to uh, suggest that it was going at some speed. Let's bring in Richard Galpin who's been following events for us. Um, obviously this has only been breaking the last hour, so details are a little bit sketchy at the moment, but what else can you add to that? Well, I think the key thing we're hearing now is apparently that the, uh, the subway um, in Stockholm has been closed down, and I think that looks like another indication that this is some kind of attack. Of course, we do not know for sure. We're still waiting for confirmation um, from the police, um, but we certainly know that um, the national radio broadcasters reports are saying that um, the police are treating it as a terrorist attack, but we're still waiting for that confirmation. But, as you say, I mean, there's, there are now reports of shots being fired, um, and the fact that they've closed down the subway would indicate that they are concerned that uh, potentially people are on the loose in the city who they'd want to try and arrest. The Swedish Prime Minister, according to Reuters, is just saying that Sweden has been attacked, everything indicating it is an act of terrorism. Um, and I mentioned uh, Frank Gardner, our security correspondent, saying that there was a second incident possibly on the way. We've heard a, a number of reports mm. about that, but a little bit further away, we think, from that pedestrianised area. Yes, yeah, we don't have any more details on that at no. all, so it's very difficult to actually uh, give any more information at this stage. But as you said, I mean, the fact that the, the Prime Minister, the government, are now saying this, it does look like this mm. is a terrorist attack. Um, obviously, it comes in the context of what happened here in London a couple of weeks ago, and there are real fears now across Europe about this pattern that is emerging of vehicles being used as weapons. And if you remember at the time of the Westminster attack, people talked about the fear of copycat attacks. I mean, at the time, obviously, we were thinking what might happen in this country, but this does look very much to be a very similar style attack, but using a huge lorry. As you're saying, in that photograph, there's a still photograph where you can see it's a very big lorry which has gone into the side of a building, has obviously smashed in, gone quite a long way in. So this was using a very heavy, big vehicle which obviously could cause very significant casualties. And, I, and I've seen that for myself in Nice. I was reporting for the BBC down there. 86 people killed by this truck which was careering down the promenade on the front. And there's, there's very little you can do to stop them. I mean, it, I understand from this area in Sweden there, there aren't barriers in place. So unless it had smashed, um, or until that point that it had smashed into the department store, there's nothing much you can do. No, I'm saying, I mean, you can't have um, barriers or bollards which are going to stop vehicles going through right the way um, through a city centre. It's impossible to do that. And, you know, with a lorry this big as well, it would have enormous momentum. It would be able to break through barricades, you'd mm -hmm. have thought. So it's, but it's very, very difficult to protect, protect absolutely everywhere.